a marketing firm. She's now promoting body positivity. She wants to empower all women, no matter what size or shape they are. And Joanna Grange joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So tell me about this. So you were on the scene early as a fashion influencer. You were at a blog, so you had all these followers, and you were doing the whole high fashion scene. And then last year you decided to make a change. What prompted that? Yeah, so, you know, social media is what I focus on 24-7. And one of the things that we coach our clients on is, you know, telling a story and having a value proposition. As I've gotten older, I've started to kind of examine what value I'm bringing to the table when it comes to social media and what kind of legacy I'm leaving for my girls. So last year, I kind of dug deep and started to unpack some of the things that, you know, mentally affected my own body positivity. Okay, so body positivity meaning acceptance of how you look, what you have, uh, work what your mama gave you, basically? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Feeling good in your own skin no matter what because all bodies are good bodies. And I, I have to say, though, being body positive is kind of a complete contrast to what we see out there when we see these social media influencers. They're showing the best of the best the best bikini, the best, you know, ripped abs. So, I mean, how do the two work out for you? You know, it's really interesting. Social media has become such a curated, photoshopped, edited platform. At least it was and has been since I started on it 10 years ago, um, particularly in Instagram. But I think what we've seen is an evolution, particularly in 2020, where people want more authentic. They want to feel good about what they're consuming. They're looking for a message. They're looking for value. And so the reality is I feel like it's my job to use my platform in a positive way and, and make it relatable, whether it's a mom out there who's had two, three, four kids and is feeling kind of down and out about themselves, or it's a 20-year-old who's kind of growing into their own. I just want every woman to really embrace what they have. And if there's a constant content that makes you feel crummy, you know, might be the opportunity to unfollow that and follow contents that inspire and educate and entertain you. Yeah, and I imagine having girls probably also makes you kind of think about it. I have two young girls and I always think, well, I don't want them to grow up with those same issues I grew up with. And you want to just try to pat, pave a new path for them. Yeah, I think they were the catalyst in me really changing my content because my daughters are in fourth and third grade are coming home and asking me questions about their body or telling me things that people say to them. And I don't want them to grow up with the same issues and concerns. Mm. And, um, you know, the stigmatism of, you know, am I skinny enough? I just feel like it's my job to do things differently for them. Sure, sure. Set an example for them. So you have a clothing capsule. Tell me about that. Yeah. So um, in January, I was sitting on my couch like so many of us, and I kept thinking, well, what's a way that, again, I can use my platform in a positive way to spread joy and positivity, but also give back? And so I said to my husband, you know, there's, a, there's an eating disorder clinic called the Renfro Center Foundation. They're a national clinic. They have one here in Northbrook. And, you know, I didn't know anything, but I knew I could design a couple T-shirts that, you know, people could feel proud to wear, and then I could donate a portion of all proceeds to this clinic. And essentially, the, pro, the, the portion of the proceeds support people who maybe have health care benefits that don't support our long-term treatment. Mm -hmm. And so I worked with a company out of the Midwest called The Vinyl Studio to design T-shirts that spread positive messaging about everybody, meaning everybody is a good body. Oh, that is nice. And just for the record, you didn't have it, it, any disorder, but you did deal with IBS, the IBS. Yeah, well, it's kind of coupled together. I would oh. say that growing up into my adulthood, I had disordered eating in the sense mm -hmm. that there were times I would only allow myself to consume 800 calories a day. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the ballet world. Oh, and then okay. IBS contributed to that, and so they're very much linked together. All right. And see, these are things that you will be discussing on your uh, blog and as well yeah. as on your social media pages. So Joanne, I wish we could talk more, but we gotta cut it here. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for being open. And thank you for joining us this morning. For more information on her message of body positivity, you can follow her on Instagram and check out our website, joannagrange.com.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up next, the weekend break.